Vehicle Options Review From the customer record, the Vehicle Options button provides access to vehicle notes, history, marketing, recommendations, and more. Let's take a look. Click the customer search icon, enter a customer name, press enter, and enter again to open their record. Now highlight one of the customer's vehicles below and click the green Vehicle Options button on the left. These are the vehicle record options for the selected vehicle. From here, we can add an appointment, write a new repair order, add, edit, or delete this vehicle, and these five features are part of the wizards you use every day. Let's select the vehicle notes. And these are at the bottom of the vehicle details screen that you filled out when you added this vehicle, also available when you click on the blue underlined vehicle from within a repair order. Click in the Notes field to add any notes for the vehicle. Now click OK. History lists all of the repair orders ever written for this vehicle, including any open ones. Click the Labor History button to open the Labor History window to view just the labor history, including the labor code, description, status, repair order number, invoice date, date paid, quantity, and the price of all labor operations performed on this vehicle. Click the Details button in the lower left corner to display details about the highlighted labor service, including the entire description, technicians, and status of the labor. Click Close and Close again. Now let's click Part History, and here is a list of the parts, same as the labor information, and again clicking Details for the details about the selected part. We can click the View Repair Order button to view the highlighted repair order, and note we could click the Preview Reprint and print this one. But let's just click Close, Close, and Close again to return to the customer record. Note here on the left, we can also select on the main screen view to display history on the service counter for quick access to the history of the vehicle for any open repair order. Let's select Marketing Next, and this screen lists marketing letters and postcards that are scheduled to be sent, including the date to send for this vehicle. We can also click this radio button to view sent letters and postcards for the vehicle and when they went out. We can add a letter or postcard to be sent from this screen, or delete one that is scheduled to be sent. You can also access this screen from within an open RO and make this screen part of your workflow to prompt you to schedule a marketing letter when the customer pays their bill. Next is Recommendations. And here we can see what needs to be done to this vehicle. These recommendations will be listed here until they're tagged and transferred onto a repair order, and we can add one from here, edit or delete the recommendations on the list, we can also look up technical service bulletins and make recommendations with this information if we have a subscription to the TSB service. And here we have our quotes for this vehicle. Quotes are generated from the Right Quote feature here on the left, a different area from the recommendations. Quotes can also be added from within an RO, but we can also create an appointment or start an RO to perform the work listed on the quote and quotes can be set up to expire after a certain amount of time under the Setup section. So note we can click here to view any expired quotes for this vehicle. And like recommendations, the quotes will remain on the quotes list until the quotes are converted or added to a repair order. The Vehicle History Report is next, and we can select the number of months to include in this report. Let's enter 24, or we could use these spin buttons and check the Use Printed Labor Descriptions box to print out the complete labor descriptions on the report, not just the first line of the labor description, and click OK. We can zoom in and print this report if we like, but let's just click Close. Customers love that report when they're selling their cars. And here again, we can access Vehicle Technical Service Bulletins if you have a subscription to the TSB service. We can transfer this vehicle to another customer and note here, we cannot transfer a vehicle if the vehicle has an open RO on the service counter. Let's transfer another vehicle. The system will verify the vehicle we're looking to transfer, and we'll say yes. Now we'll select the customer who we want to transfer this vehicle to, and click yes if the customer is correct. The vehicle record will now be under this customer, including their history and any scheduled marketing letters, 
but any outstanding AR charges stay with the old customer. With the merge feature, you are merging data for the vehicle. Sometimes you have a family member who brought the car in and you started another customer account for them. Same vehicle, but tracked in two separate vehicle records in your system. So this is different than transfer, where you just transfer a record to another customer. You are merging the vehicle with another record. So first, highlight the record we want to merge. This will be the source vehicle, and this record will be removed once the information is merged. We would then select the destination vehicle, highlight the vehicle record that will hold all the information now, and confirm. Now the history, and even the marketing letters, are combined into one vehicle record. Oh, and one last feature under Vehicle Options, let's check the Show Deleted Vehicles box. Highlight the deleted vehicle, it'll show up in red type, and now we can either right-click and select Undelete Vehicle from the drop list, or click the green Vehicle Options button and select Undelete Vehicle from here. And now that vehicle record is active again. Click OK and close. And this concludes the lesson on Vehicle Options Review.